with example seven. Our main reason for this example is to use the principle of mathematical induction to prove this proposition. Okay, now I'm going to um, make an excuse in advance because of how much needs to be written. I'm writing with a thin, fine um, point pen, and I also have to move this up and down to get out of the way so that we have enough space to write. So let's go. Consider the prop proposition Pn such that the sum of 1 over 2r from 1 to n equals 2n minus 1 over 2n. So remember what this means. It means I believe that the sum of this equals to that. Okay. The easy part is considering it. Okay. We've been considerate. We've considered it. And now we're going to move on. So the first question is, what is the statement when the prohibition, when n equals 1? So all I'm going to do, so I already started here. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in the place of 1, in the place of n, I'm going to put a 1. So I'm going to say this equals the probability, when n is 1, I'm just going to substitute an n in there. So I'm going to have 1 from 1, 1 over, that r can't change because we have a value for n, not for r. And that equals 2 to the power 1 minus 1 over 2 to the power 1. The question was, what is the statement? So that is the statement. I don't have to calculate anything. So I just want to write down A here. The B part say, what is the statement when P equals K? So I'm going to go back here. And in the place of the N, the place of the N, I'm going to put now a K. So I'm going to say my B part in the place of N, I'm going to put a K. That's going to give us from 1 to K, the sum of 1 over 2R equals 2 to the power K minus 1 over 2K. So in the place of the N, I've just put Ks now. Okay. The third question. They ask us, make a statement. I'm not calculating it, I'm just making statements. So the third statement, C, is they ask us, what is the statement when P is K plus 1? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say P, K plus 1. And all I'm going to do is wherever I see, wherever I see that value, I'm just going to put in k plus 1, wherever I see n. So p, n, p k plus 1 equals the sum of k plus 1, 1, 1 over 2r equals, and that will be 2 k plus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 to the power k plus 1. So that's why first three questions, what is the statements? In my question now, they ask us, how can I change, how can I change k, the sum of 1 over 2 to the power r, from 1 to k, how can I change that to this? So the difference is, I just add 1. So I add one more term. So that means, if, if my 1, remember on this induction, when I have the one thing on the ladder, the, the R, the K, and I can prove that the K plus 1, the next one, is also true, then I can do my induction to prove. So how do I going to get this value? I'm going to leave a little gap here because I'm going to come back. And what I'm going to say is, what I'm going to say is, that this, if I have 
Okay. One over two R. And I add to this one over two to the power of K plus one. So I put in the place of R K plus one. Then that will equal the sum of K plus one one over one over two R. Now, what is my reason for saying that? And I'm just going to quickly prove it down here. If, if I had a value, so let's say I had, for this, if I have 1, 1, 1 over 2R, what that means is, if I substitute 1 in there from 1 to 1, it will be 1 over 2 to the power 1, which equals a half. If I make the next one, so that was the first the first um, for one of them. So if I make that 2, so I add 1, it means this is 2 to the power r, which equals 1 to the power 2, 1 plus 1 over 2, 2, but which is whatever. The next one will be 3, 1 over 1, 2, r equals, and that means I substitute 1, plus 1, 2 square, plus 1, 2 r. Which means is, this value over here, that one, so the next, from there, the next one would have been that one, plus if I add one there. When this is a 3, I add all of this, I add up all of this, and all I do is I just add 1. So going back to this, if I know what k is, and I add the next value, k plus 1, it's the sum of this plus the next term will give us the sum of everything up to there. So that is D done. That is D done. Our last question is E. And this is where we need some time. Okay, with E, the question was now proof. Use the principle of mathematic induction to prove that your proposition, that your proposition is true. Now, if you can remember, our steps would be, we have to prove that, first of all, P exists at 1. That's your first step. Your second step is that P is true at K and P is true at K plus 1. So that's the two steps that I have to do. So remember getting onto the ladder and then seeing that two consecutive values on the ladder is true, then it's true. Okay, so to prove that, I'm going to go all the way back for E. So this is going to be my step one, is proving there. So I'm going to find P at 1. Now my left hand side equals the sum of, from 1 to 1, 1 over 2R equals 1 over 2, 1, which equals a half. My right hand side equals just that. 2 to the power 1, I already substitute 1 in there. So that's going to be 2 minus 1 over 2, which gives us 1 over 2. Therefore, left hand side equals right hand side. Therefore, P at 1 is true. So I've done that. That is true. My second step. And it's probably better if you write it down there, but I'm going to run out of space, so I don't want to do that. Your second step is, I'm going to do the following, and this is where it gets intriguing. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to say, for the second part, let's assume that um, P8Q is true. Okay, so if we assume that P8Q is true, 
then we have to assume, oh, then we're going to look at this. And if I can prove that this is true, when this is true, it means that one step is true and then the next step is also true, therefore the induction is true. Let's go there. So if I look at P over K, I can do the following. Okay, I'm going to work with my left hand side. I'm going to move this over so we can see better. I'm going to work with my left hand side. And I'm going to say the left hand side of this, this is actually not the equal sign, this is a such as. Okay, left hand side is k plus 1, sum of 1, 1 over 2r. We have already proven this. We've said this here. We've said that this. That's a lie. We said this. We said 1 plus k over 1. We've already proven that. We said that that is the same. Which means that this equals this value over here. So I can say that this equals k plus, oh, sorry. K okay, from 1, 1 over 2R plus 1 over 2K plus 1. So we start with the left hand side. We say this left hand side, I have already calculated. Here it is. And that equals what I proved in D. This equals then. I have still a sum there, and I've already done the sum as well. I've done the sum. I said that this sum is the same as this sum over here. Okay, they are the same. Which means I can replace this, this, with this. Which is 2k minus 1 over 2k plus 1 over... 2k plus 1. Now I have nice sums. All I want to do now is I want to add this up. I'm going to make the value 2k plus 1. Now how do I get this 2k plus 1? Now if you remember that we've learned with our indices laws that if I multiply this by 2 and I multiply this by 2, I'm allowed to do it. I am multiplying two bases which are the same, which means I add the exponent. So if I multiply 2 to the power 1 by 2 to the power k, this value will be 2 to the power k plus 1. Which gives me at the top 2 times 2k minus 1 plus 1. Okay, I'm going to multiply this out now. So I'm going to distribute this 2 in there and in there. That's going to give me 2 to the power. Now remember 2 times 2 is 2 to the power k plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 over 2k plus 1. This equals 2 to the power k plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 divided by 2k plus 1. Now, if you look carefully, you will see that this equals my right hand side. So this equals that. Therefore, P at k plus 1 is true. So P P at K plus 1 is true for the proposition. And if that is true, we said we assume that this is true and we use those values. That means P at K is true whenever P at k is true.
And by this principle, we can say, therefore, because P at 1 is true, and P at K, is, P at, P at K plus 1 is true whenever PK is true, therefore, the sum of N from 1 to N of 1 over 2R equals 2 to the power N minus 1 over 2N. Now this is not easy. I'd like you to go and work through this a few times yourself and then have another look and then look, do some of them yourself.